No one calls me Elizabeth, except my dad, and he's an asshole. So if you don't mind, my name's Daisy. Before the war, I thought one day the world around me would start to make sense. Particularly in recent years, the future has looked dark because we live in really anxious times. You know, we're surrounded by a sense of threat and pervasive anxiety. Different groups have claimed responsibility for this attack. And to repeat, we appear to be talking about a nuclear device which has killed tens, if not hundreds, of thousands of people in and around the capital. One of the main reasons why I wanted to do How I Live Now was because um, I had noticed that I had played a few characters that were that had more of a supernatural um, quality to them and I didn't want to get into that pattern of only doing that. Um, even though the characters were very different, I didn't want to get lazy um, and so really was desperate to play someone who was very current. Nothing else, no one else but you and I. I was looking for reasons why things happen. Who is that? Edmund. He's the oldest. I guess I was pretty naive back then. You and I, no one else, nothing else but you and I. The book is interesting because it was written for kind of the young adult audience. Um, and then their parents read it, and it became, they published an adult edition of it as well. But it was definitely it was definitely written as a young adult book. But it's I guess it's probably different than the, than what your idea of a young adult book is, which is the sort of twilighty kind of book, in that it's, it deals with kind of really difficult themes, mm -hmm. and um, it's kind of raw and honest. And I think that makes it more exciting. And certainly that was the thing when I read the book, I was excited by it as a piece of literature. I thought this is beautifully written and very original in its story, and the character of Daisy is very original. It's tough, I have to say. It's it's kind of tricky to find the right thing. Um, I'm lucky that I have two very good agents that kind of know the, the sort of stuff that I like to do and um, have a very good eye and things like that. But I mean, um, I guess it's just what's kind of right for my age, you know, and it's just about kind of um, getting all the other stuff out of the way and finding that one thing, and I, and I have, thankfully, recently, so. But it's hard. This whole area is crawling with enemy units. Okay, we need to get you out of here fast. Girls, follow me. Boys, how old are you? I'm 16, I'm old enough to look after all of us. How old are you? 14. We don't need help. I think if you knew you had to get back somewhere in order to be with someone, then you would... I think that's the whole point, isn't it? Is that yeah, you think, would do anything. I think that's the thing. Is it's, In some ways, it's a very conventional theme of how love can help you survive the most terrible circumstance mm. in your life and give you the strength to carry on. And I think and at, the beginning of, at the beginning of the film, her character probably wouldn't have survived. She probably would, would have just given up. But by the time she's <laughs> fallen in love and she's found a family in a way as well, um, she has the reason to keep going. And also she has the little girl that she has to look, at, look after. Mm. And so it's a, it's, a, it's a coming of age story as well, isn't it? It's about how, how, this, how this girl goes from being kind of selfish and unloved and un incapable of giving love to somebody we can give love. Ah! Right, Please stop it! You need to fucking calm down, right? Remember what I said! Crazy! Just sit down. <laughs> Daisy! Remember what I said? <laughs>